Hello. Again, I hope it's going to be very informative. I hope I'm going to be able to put up uh, some of the pictures that you guys want to see and what we have here on the table. Um, and, and I hope it, it gives you a great uh, uh, decision-making ability to whether you want to order these plants or not yes. or whether you want to try one of these plants or not. Hi everyone. So it's a very exciting time um, here in our home right now and I don't think Ambrose slept one bit last night. It, and it was hard. Um, so we got our proven winners plants yesterday and uh, we decided to keep them in the box till today. Yeah, uh, they got here a little bit late in the day so yeah. and we were getting a freeze warning. Yeah, we were supposed to get a freeze warning so we decided not to unbox them until today. Um, and. You know, there was a lot of curious questions of whether we're going to do an unboxing or not. And I think we decided... Well, because we went ahead and posted. We post yeah. everything on Instagram and Facebook. So there was there was a lot of people, you know, asking to yeah. go ahead and unbox. And, you know, there was a very good reason you told me we should also yeah, do so, an unboxing. Uh, I, I think the biggest reason is because, uh, you know, a lot of people are doing more online ordering right now for plants. And I think some of the biggest concerns and some of the biggest worries are, you know, how they come and, and you know, how they're shipped and how they're packed. Um, and we have a variety of plants, so yes. we have bigger plants, we have some quart size, and we also have some uh, some smaller. They're not just annuals, there's, there's perennials in there too. So there's yeah. all different shapes and sizes of plants, and a lot of people want to see what do they look like right now, yep. arriving to your home, you know, so to the houses. It is going to be a longer video. Um, hope you guys stick with us, but we're just going to go ahead and unbox it. We're not going to do every single plant because we do have multiples. Yeah. We'll probably do, do one of each, but just to show you what it's like, how they come packed again, like I said. Um, because I think it, it gives a better understanding of what the plants look like when they when they arrive. Um, sometimes you order from different distributors as well, not specifically from the Proven Winners website, but you know, let's say some of the big box stores or you know some other nurseries that offer online services. And I think some of the concerns are, well, I didn't get my package the way I intended it to get it. And sometimes those things are you know unforeseen, but they happen. And, and sometimes too, you know, it's not always. The, the fault of the, the company that ship, um, is usually the the people that ship the plants. It's, yep. You know, they're being handled by so many hands too, and that's happened to us. Too. But the good thing about it is Proven Winners, if you take a picture and email them within 24 hours, um, you can either get a refund or they'll ask you to plan it and see how they do um, within 30 days because some of these plants, they do get stressed from shipping and stuff like that. So uh, it's just a matter of some of them just getting them in the ground and, and, and having them just revitalize themselves. So okay. we're gonna get started with the uh, the bigger um, the bigger plants. Yes. That way uh, we can show you and we'll show you right now how it looks like in the box and how they're actually boxing there and, and what yes. they look like when you pull them out. Okay, so Ambrose started opening one of the boxes. This is a perennial and one of the plants that I'm very, very happy and excited for. One of my favorite or our favorite plants it's a hydrangea a hydrangea guys so i this, can't even talk <laughs> because i love them that much so this is a uh, let's dance rave uh big leaf hydrangea so it's a macrophylla hydrangea which grows on old wood um so these are pretty cool let's see on this one this one's actually a sun or part shade and we have a nice spot that we're going to put it in that's going to yes. be sun or part shade as well uh, so we're pretty happy about this one. As you can see, uh, this is a one gallon container. So they do come uh, nicely grown when you order a one gallon. I know people are concerned about the sizes and, and you know, what they look like when you get them. Um, the ones you do get in quartz are gonna be smaller and, you know, understandably, it's not gonna have that much growth. But uh, as you can see, this It's one's, perfect. This I'm one's quite already nice. eyed it out and put my fingers in the soil and it's still moist. Um, cause I, I, that's one thing I love that they have a plastic bag over the container so it can keep the moisture and the soil in there. Um, so yeah, yep. the plant's perfect. So, so I'm not sure if you want to show them. We this. can pop that one up on a pop screen. It up. Um, so this is a lot of what you're going to get in your box just because yeah. like I said, just the way they're boxed, that's nothing to be concerned about. Leaves are going to break. Things are going to break. Um, it's just one of the, uh, you know, one of the cons of ordering online, but Again, very satisfied with the way this one came. And we have two of these, so we're going to go ahead and ch check out the other one. So real quick before uh, I do this one, just to <clears throat> let you know, when you open these up, you want to open them up from the bottom side. Um, that way you don't spill anything over when you open it and it stays 
nice in there and then you have these tabs on the side that uh, you want to pop so it slides out straight from the bottom these tabs hold the container from sliding up and down in the box you can give me the box and another beautiful plant so there's the second let's dance wraith hydrangea already getting you know its blooms preparing itself very beautiful hydrangea we've never had this color before so very excited yep i wanted something a little bit different in color this time so this is gorgeous guys so there it goes another yep. beautiful plant all right so um roses Peru winter's roses i know that's uh, another one that um, people have thought about ordering and don't know whether to order or not because a lot of these you find in the garden centers and they're already fully grown and showing some buds but we did want to take this time to show you what a rose comes like when you order a one gallon rose from Prune Winners uh, this is I believe the rose of the year yes I love this rose I saw it on the catalog and I just I just had to have this one hydrangeas and roses just our favorite things in, in the garden, favorite plants. All right, so this one had some soil kind of fall out a little bit, but there you go. And it has already a, yep, a bud. bud. This is the uh, oh, that's so pretty. also easy double red, um, which absolutely looks amazing. I know Angie loves this because it's the yes. double red and we have a nice spot for it um, up in front of the house. And just in case um, you're wondering where all this stuff is going to go, um, make sure to stay tuned because we have plenty of projects coming up where we're gonna put all these plants together unfortunately we can't start right away because there, are, there is some stuff that we still haven't received um, we got the majority of the stuff but there's little plants little perennials here and there that haven't shipped out yet that we want to put in certain spots and mix up with the other annuals so um, we're not gonna be able to start right away but this gives us a good idea yeah. of what it's gonna look like once we start going yeah, with it it's super exciting right now you know start figuring it out so yeah, very excited for, oh, it actually has another one here. Yep, yeah, so that's beautiful. <laughs> okay, so why, why are you looking at me like that? Because I'm about to pull out something that I absolutely wanted and I can't believe we got it. But um, just another one, uh, we're done with the bigger plants and, and these are some of the, uh, the quart size plants. Uh, another bigger size plant that, uh, you know, the curiosity of ordering those as well and how they come. I'm gonna go ahead and pull this one out. Oh my. Now this right here is a elephant ear. And as you can see the way they're packaged, they have this, uh, this paper sleeve that basically keeps everything upright um, for most of the plants that are already growing this tall. And then the annuals are obviously gonna be wrapped up a little bit so that way just in case they get turned, the soil does stay in there. But- Hand me another one, you can, that way, cause there's more than one, right? Yes, there is. Okay, I'll open one. That way he doesn't have all the fun. <laughs> Like Christmas for us gardeners, huh? In the spring. Oh my goodness. We've never had this variety. We've yep. had so many ele types of elephant ears, but so this one not is this, the, one. uh, this one's called Coffee Cups Elephant's Ear. Um, absolutely love the way this one looks. Oh it has goodness. that nice cup on top. I've actually seen this one grown fully at one of our uh, our nurseries when we were in North Carolina, and absolutely it looks amazing. It has a nice showing to it, and just catches the eye when you. Uh, when you see it right away um, and because we didn't mention but these are full full to part sun yep these elephant ears um and this one can actually get about uh five feet tall so that's that's pretty amazing uh for this one here now there's a reason why and i'll probably you know talk more about it later on um while we're doing videos you know planting them but there's a reason why i wanted these i, I had eyed them and i told ambrose i love the cup it holds water when it rains yep. and you got all the little birds and the little pollinators oh, yeah. and everything, the butterflies and... And it's just a picture magnet holding water. So that's a, yeah. that's another plus, I think. But there you go. That's a quart size uh, um, a plant that comes shipped from Prune And the Winters. stem's beautiful. Like a purple black. Yep. Okay. So Ambrose is going to start bringing some out and I'll open them as he does that. 
So oh, I already know what this is. So we're basically just going to open them all. Um, any duplicates that we have, you're going to be able to see them as well anyway. Um, but we try to keep it short. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. This is coleus, and this one's color blade strawberry drop. So we had what was called, what is chocolate called? Chocolate drop. Yeah, chocolate drop. So uh, we just had to have this one. It has pink, and I think it'll just look beautiful with the house. Oh my. This is a surefire rose begonia. Um, this one's absolutely amazing. Um, I know it does well in, mm -hmm. in shade. Uh, I know it's taken some sun before. Um, we've seen it in other gardens where it takes a lot of sun, but um, this is going to be used in a shady area, so we're excited to have this one. I just absolutely love the flower. The, the flower is just stunning. Um, more about the coleus. Um, I really love the coleus from Peru and Winters um, because a lot of the varieties now, newer varieties from them, can actually take really full, harsh sun. So excited for these two. Okay, okay so we did order Super Tunias. I wasn't sure we were going to do that this year. But I'm excited because we really only used them mostly on baskets. This year we're gonna, we did use them right in the front bed on the bottom, but it wasn't, it wasn't that many that we used. No. This year we're using them in the ground. So this one right here that we have is Super Tunia Vista Paradise. And we have a couple of these, so Ambrose is bringing all of those out. Um, and then here is the Color Blaze Chocolate Drop that I was talking to you guys about. We've grown this one before, and boy, does it get big. And it can take a lot of sun as well. So we had to have this one again this year. So this one right here is the first time ever um, growing this. It's a hardy geranium rosen. Um, love the purple flowers. And um, I, I just wanted to try it this year. That's the second one. Yeah. Um, it's a good size too. Didn't have flowers on it, but well, it had flowers. Oh, it on had it, flowers. But, well, you can see. Um, such a pretty but again, color. these these will bounce back right away, so it's nothing to be too concerned about. That is about. gorgeous, though the color. Uh, one of the other ones that we haven't done oh, is yeah. this is a whirlwind pink scaviola. Um, absolutely love the flower on there. It's like a fan flower. It looks absolutely amazing. It's a nice gorgeous. pink on it. Um, but that's another one that. Uh, new to us that we're gonna use and we'll talk more when once we get down to yeah. planting them you know and everything we'll talk more about oh yeah about the about the individual plants yeah. once we do projects and what where we're gonna put them at it's another begonia there um, I know Angie talked about the chocolate drop but this one just uh, this one it, it just <laughs> if you haven't seen a almost like a trailing coleus yeah. and that's what you want um, get a chocolate drop um, we grew it on the ground but I would love to see this in a basket. Yeah, this guy spread uh, three to four feet. Um, just and, one. And probably more if we let it. Yeah, just uh, one plant. And just with regular feeding. So um, if you're, I'm curious to see what the uh, the strawberry drop does. Yeah. All right, so we have another box. Um, some of the boxes come in different sizes. You get some of the tall ones for the taller plants. Um, you get some shorter uh, boxes for some of the annuals. And then you get just some of the extra annuals uh, when you can stack that many annuals in another box. That's where they come. And, we can show you that as well, how those look. Um, but we're going to go ahead and keep, keep doing this. Hope you're still with us. Because uh, there's plenty to open. I think we'll try to fast forward some of this. Oh. Look at this. Endless flirtation. For Walia. And it has a cute little flower already. White flower. Yep. Something you were like just yep, that's, wanting uh, so bad in our garden. That's one that we're definitely going to gonna use and I, I think this well this year we're super excited because we have uh, more of a shaded area back here so we were able to get to yeah order we're, we're, we're able to try the... some plants that we normally don't try you know uh, we've only got what most of the annuals that we typically do are petunias and I think we only got four of them that we're gonna use out of all the plants that we receive so it's pretty exciting to try something completely different yeah because we've always gone with full sun so here's so. one that angie absolutely loves it's uh the yes. silver bullet um artemisia um, love that one just love that one uh it, it's gonna have a nice accented look to where we're gonna put it and uh every so, year that's one that just makes it back into our garden yeah so we have we have a, a couple of these that we're gonna be using and what I have here, oh, <laughs> it's the truffula pink. And I know these can get really big. And to believe that it comes in this, this little plant, 
and I'm just so excited to see this one grow, you know, so much through the season. Yep. So triple of pink, guys. So if I'm not talking about plants, it's because they're multiples, and I'm just gonna set them over to the side once we get them open. Oh, that one. Uh, that's <laughs> that's one that I'm pretty uh, excited about. You can talk about, about this one. So this he is loves it. Uh, meteor shower verbena. Um, Angie loves verbena, and I, I fall do. in love with verbena. But the meteor shower, um, the way this one grows, I mean, I just, I'm excited for this one. It, it's supposed to get about 30 inches tall um, and about 12 inches wide. Um, so that's that's something that's going to grow kind of like this and about that tall. And it has these uh, these verbena flowers on the very tips that look like a meteor shower. So it's, it's pretty cool and that's something we're excited to something use. Something new for our garden. Yeah, something completely yeah, new that, that we have not new. used before. Yeah. So another truffle here, same one, another meteor shower. Talk about that yes. one. Um, this one is Mojave Red, and this is a Portulaga, and I I just love it, guys. I love it so much, and um, we have grown it before, um, and I just but not the proven winners kind. And the proven winners type, I noticed just how much more, just just everything about it is so much more prettier, and we, we've seen it in in um, garden centers, growing in baskets and everything. They just look gorgeous. So this is one that we. I just had to. Go. So you're next or I'm next? It doesn't matter. Whichever Are we... you tired? <laughs> Are your tired. hands hurting? Me tired? No, definitely not. Another right. silver. So every year, I say I am, I'm done growing potato vine because it's like seen everywhere. And then I'm like, no, we have to have more potato vine. Yep. And it's Sweet Caroline Kiwi. And I'll tell you why I love it so much with, you know, when we're going to plant it too. I'm, big reason is because, like I like to call it, we have a temporary garden. Yeah. And fills up quick um, areas of the garden where basically I don't know what else to put or do or hard sun, yep. you know, so it's always a lifesaver. This one yep. is Sweet Caroline Kiwi. Yeah, definitely. If you have a spot you need to fill in potato vine this is your your plant here all right so Always i know makes it back i know angie would love to talk about this one but she's had the last two so i'm gonna go ahead and do this one uh this is probably one of the best coleuses out there um this is golden dreams oh my gosh, yeah. uh, color blaze coleus um that one looks absolutely amazing uh it, it we had it in the garden last year yes and unfortunately we only got one we wished at the time we would have gotten more yes but this guy uh, it, it's grown tall and, and we had it by the what is it called the, the front bed yes but with the other coleus the oh, chocolate with the, drop with the chocolate drop yep and they both kind of competed with each other but this one grows tall and the chocolate drop kind of grows wide so there was this little layer thing so going on yeah, with oh, them definitely the, you, if you can see the color and the contrast between the chocolate drop and the the, the you know the golden dreams it's it just perfect contrast it absolutely looks beautiful in the garden just such an elegant looking leaf too yep What's that? And this is another endless rotation. More Artemisia. Endless for, um, rotation. Oh, holy cow. Really holy cow. <laughs> so this is a Super Bell's holy cow and we tried it last year with Gosh, I, I love that combination that you made in the kitchen garden. Oh, with strawberries and uh, and uh, what was it? The tomato. Oh, the basil. I'm sorry. It was basil, holy cow, and strawberries. Um, you're you're forgetting the big plant, um, and I forget the name of everything like always. Oh, the salvia. Um, I'm yes. sorry. It was one yes. of the uh, salvias from Proven Winners. I think it yep. was in pink, and I don't recall the name. Um, but I know there's a video on it, yep. and it it all looked just so pretty. Um, and it attracted the hummingbirds like crazy all of the colors together yeah. combined. so all right so one thing i do want to talk about and it's something that i think we should say is so this year what we're doing with proven winners is we're actually doing um some combinations for that only includes three plants yes. um and that's one of the biggest things that we want to push this year is three plant containers um that you can get and absolutely have grow and have a lovely container because i think uh you know I think just having just being able to do three plants in a container and make it look absolutely beautiful yes. is something so, sometimes that sometimes it's all you need is three plants yeah. or just like super tune is a girl so much um with one in one container a good size 
it'll fill it up. Yeah, so now, that's going to... Go ahead, I'm sorry. It, it's, it's more of a little waiting and patience, but yeah. you know, from, from planting to frost is a long time, and these things just grow and, like crazy if you fertilize and, them. Yeah, too. and that's one of the things we do want to showcase is how, how well and, and vibrant these plants grow uh, when you just have a few plants uh, and we haven't... Uh, well, we've also grown some combinations that end up competing with each other yeah. because they're both uh, big growers or take too much yeah. water and and that's the whole thing about experimenting in the garden and finding out who does well with who and sometimes putting too much of, oh, yeah. of one guy that drinks too much water with somebody else it, it's bad for the other plant so we'll talk more about that during the season yep and we haven't uh decided on the name yet but i think we're going with a, a series called what three plant magic maybe or yes. uh we, we we still have yet to decide that but that's something that we're working on <laughs> all right go like that <laughs> let's do it anyway. so we can't see ambrose no definitely can't see all right let me move some of the stuff so this is the last box no this is not the last box oh oh, oh. i wish i would have done that one you can have it no go ahead I let you talk about it. All right, here we go. Switch, trade. All right, so these are some that we grew. This is Prince Tut. Uh, and I may pick uh, pop a picture on there. I just gotta find it. But to show you how big Prince Tut grew, um, this guy gets pretty big. Uh, this one goes 30 to 48 inches, and that's absolutely what it grew to when we put it in, in a container. Uh, I absolutely love the way Angie put these in a container because they absolutely grew uh, just the way we envisioned it. Uh, but the cool it thing about beautiful. it is we're actually going to test all three this year. We have a yes. King Tut, we have Prince Tut, and we have a Baby Tut. And one video that I do have in mind is using one of these in a water container so it's actually going to sit in water so that's going to be a pretty cool little feature we're going to do with probably the uh the baby tut um but this is an awesome plant to have and once again beautiful plants to have um in our areas you know an annual um for us because we have once again oh, yeah. i love i just have to always mention how we are, we move around so much so i call it a temporary garden and these plants just do amazing and y'all have any questions over the, the the plants, any plant that we're talking about here, please feel free to ask on the comments down below. Um, I know we're just, you know, we're trying to do this as quick as possible. Okay, so here we have the Graceful Grasses King Tuck. So this is the big guy. Yep, this guy grows to about six feet tall. And we are using all three in our garden because we can show you guys how many different ways you can use these plants in the garden. And that's why I'm so excited about it. Even though we have a small garden, there is just so much so, um, to be able to be quick, done here. I want to show you the size comparison real quick. So right here we have the King Tut. That one doesn't have anything coming up yet. Um, it's still going to grow because this one's going to get pretty big. Here's the Prince Tut. It has a little bit of the, uh, you know, the pom-pom or, or whatever you would call that. I don't mm. know the exact term. I'll look it up. But you have that already starting here. And then you have the Baby Tut that's already pretty much put it on there <coughs> because it only gets about two feet tall. <coughs> this one right here, um, the little pom-pom that Ambrose is talking about, um, was such a hit with the kids in it, uh, a couple of years ago because they would call it, um, what was it, from, oh, from the uh, Dr. Seuss book? from Orton Here's a Who. There you go. They were just, they loved it. All right, let's get some more here. And that's another thing, finding plants that everybody likes. Um, Oh, the, that was a great thing with this winter, picking the plants with the kids. Yep. The kids were involved in the in choices. Oh, my. And my <laughs> eyes just like, and I can't even talk. Because, guys, this is a sweet romance lavender. And I can't talk because that color is so stunning. And I've seen it before. Um, we had, what, in, in the garden centers before. Yep. But um, they've always sold out. And I just mistake yeah. of never of never grabbing it because we were i don't know what was wrong with us that day we didn't pick it but we should have and yeah it's here so wow guys i love growing lavender love beautiful that. beautiful yeah. and i think that's what it is about proven winners plants that we well it is that what i love so much and i know he loves to that you, you know, you get to the garden center, you see them somewhere, and the colors to the plants, 
are always so vibrant and they just they just catch your eye right away you know of course the beautiful container that they come in and yep. why it's so noticeable but the plants being foliage or being um a flower they're always so so vibrant so full of life and another that we always have to have. I, I don't think we've gone one year without diamond snow, guys. So yeah. this is. Well, actually, we've gone with diamond frost and yes. diamond mountain. This is the this is new for this year. This is the new one. Uh, we were lucky enough to try it out last year. Yes. Um, and it grew. <laughs> it grew. And we planted it a little late because we were moving. The circumstances yeah. we were in. But I did get to grow it out here in the back. It was not getting that much sun. But boy, did it grow. Now, the cool thing about that one is it grows like a not nice uh, compacting mounding habit. So it's not like uh, most typical uh, diamond frost or diamond yes. mountain that, that kind of trails. And and the leaves are bigger. It's thicker. It's, it's just a much, what what would you call it, thicker plant? Yeah, it, it, it has, you know, just some more thickness to it. And it actually, uh, you know, has a much bushier appearance. That's why it has a more of a mounding habit than the other ones do. Trying to see who opens it first. Wow. He's competing with me. Why? You want to do that one. <laughs> oh my. He's being nice. So this is Happy Jack Purple Clamitis. Look at that guy. He's already, he already has some yep. growth up there and yeah, this is going with a rose, guys. So, I'm excited. I'm super excited. So, the what, flowers are just gorgeous. Real, real quick, do you want to talk about the uh, the clematis? This is a quart size, and they're when they're grown in the greenhouses, they're cut to where they're going to continue to grow and show more abundant growth when you get it in your in your home. Um, I know sometimes it's kind of you look at it and it's kind of disappointing because it's not you know what you expected but these guys are absolutely grown to where when they get to your home and you put them in the ground they're, they're just going to show off and they're going to do absolutely wonderful they grow fast they're fast growing plants um we lost one unfortunately not not this one um i forget the name of it uh, last year clematis yeah i can't remember the name um, of that one i can remember what happened i think it was there was we got here and there was ants and yeah. we just had so much going on and the poor thing got eaten by ants okay okay so this beauty here is a begonia pegasus i love begonias <laughs> i love all the the leaves and there's just so many varieties but i just had to um add this one to our garden this year we really couldn't grow that this yeah. um these type of plants so much in our past garden so Super excited to be able to have this. I think we started, uh, well, we started growing some indoors. Yeah. Some other varieties of begonia. And I'm happy that we will be using them out in the garden. The great thing too is, um, a lot of these plants will be able to be grown indoors yeah. to w uh, winter them over inside. And it looks like it wants to rain, so. Hopefully not. Um, first of all, thanks if y'all still watching and Ambrose is about to like run a lap around the table right now diamond snow all right so this is one that I really really wanted and I am excited about this is a rhododendron from Pearl Winners this one is called dandy man color wheel why is it called color wheel I know you know because this though it's flower changes so much through the time it's growing from bloom to finish so the crazy thing about this one is it doesn't start the way you would normally think it starts like hydrangeas for for you know mm -hmm. for example it starts with a bright bright red to a pink a very light pink and then a bright creamy white yes. um, so that's one thing that attracted me to this uh, to this plant he's always um, loved rhododendrons we just I, didn't have the room or light to yeah. have them in our garden and, and and being that it's a quart size i mean it's a perfect way to start with the rhododendron if you're going to start with one i mean obviously you could go out and buy a huge one but i think the fact that this has three different colors throughout the whole season is something that just amazes me and that's that's really why that's I that's one try thing i did was just research what what would ambrose love and would yeah. go great in the in our home and 
I think very easily these type of plants can become your yeah, and, and then great keep, obsession here. And then keeping with the theme around here, you know, having a sunny to part shade, shady area. Um, this one works well in sun to part shade, so that's one of the reasons why, you know, now we can do a rhododendron because we didn't have much shade, shade yeah. at the last house. And here we have the perfect amount of shade. Uh, and hopefully when we move again, we have the same amount of shade because yeah. this will be one that I do want to keep around. It gets to about four to eight feet tall. Um, and, and, you so know, that would be something to be able to see this get to that Obviously, point, it'll take some time, there. but, you know, yeah. it's, it's something that, you know, one of the things it's about gorgeous. gardening is, is watching something obviously grow from a small plant to something huge uh, that you can enjoy for years and years. So, so far, all the plants have been coming out of the box in excellent condition. Um, everyone looks super healthy. All of them are moist wrapped really well yep so makes us really happy Th this is like my everything plant in our garden and um i was digging this plant the coral lemon sedum i i i think this is like the best plant ever yep. really can go anywhere i've had it growing here since last fall um winter it over in yeah. shade we've grew it in full sun in our other garden in our past garden oh yeah and i literally brought every single plant out because that's how good this plant is um i love it i love lemon coral sedum all right i'm doing this one okay this one oh my it's another quart size this is jacket diamond brunero uh, and I'll be sure to put some pictures on there because the color on this Brunera is absolutely amazing. Love the texture of it. Um, this is a part shade uh, plant and uh, just absolutely going to love where we put this guy. It goes uh, 14 to 16 inches tall. Um, but it's just Those beautiful. Leaves. Um, it's like a, it's glowing. Yeah, almost like a glowing effect. But this is one of the plants that we're very excited about having in the garden. Beautiful. Um, again, because this is the first time we're, we're going to deal with a lot more shade tolerant plants so mm -hmm. it's exciting to try, try something different oh yeah this is a different one this is another um col um coleus um called color blaze royal alligator tears i have never seen this one before nope. not even in garden center so when we saw this um i had to get it now there was a reason why we got it i think it's, it's gonna be one of the containers that we're gonna put together and we couldn't find another type of coleus that we were looking for. I, th I don't think it was available. So we went ahead and looked for something yeah. else, I think. And this was the closest. And I we said, you know what, let's go ahead yeah. and try it. It's something completely different. And this one is sun to shade. All right. So this one right here. Yeah. Lady in red. Uh, lady fern. Um, part shade to shade. Um, but we're pretty excited about using this one because Angie absolutely loves ferns. I love ferns. I'm addicted to them. Um, and this is going to go, it has a, 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 it has a couple of different shades of green, but it has a red stem that absolutely gives it that nice reddish color. Lady and um, this goes red. about 30 to 36 inches uh, tall, but we have a nice spot for this one. It's absolutely going to be a highlight to some other plants. So that's going to be pretty yep. cool. Uh, Lady and red fern guys, if you haven't seen that one and before. And great. It just came out perfect. Okay, so um, we sped things up a little bit because it was just repeats. Yep. On one, and this is, is this one that's of the not last? That's a repeat, that's, a, that's a newer one. Is it one of the last boxes we're this at already? This is the last already? box. So this is the last box, and this right here is Silver Falls. Um, looking forward to planting this, and we will, be, we'll, we will be using this one for the backyard. Yeah. For this area. Oh, that's yeah. Huge. Um, this is Rockapoco White. Um, our shade to shade, and it's an impatient. Um, and it already has flowers. It's beautiful, beautiful and white. I wanted still some. Um, we still wanted some type of flowering going on in the backyard, um, and that's something really nice that I, we want to share with y'all about shade um, using shade plants that still flower. We can have, you know, we can have that in shade, shaded areas. Plants that flock. We haven't talked about this one. This is a Superbina Royal Chambray. 
Um, love it. Love verbena, and I just love the verbena from from Proven Winners. Um, I've always loved verbena. It's a plant that just takes me back to my mom in my mom's garden. Um, she always used verbena, but this one is just just I love the way it looks. The leaves yep. from the one from Proven Winners are just so pretty. All right, so the next one we have here is a Tensio Red Hot Phlox. It's a hybrid phlox. It has a nice mounting habit. Uh, we tried the blueberry and the white before, so absolutely looks beautiful. Yeah, did amazing for us. Okay, so this one is a new one for us, Flambe Yellow. Um, we've never grown this one before. Um, not sure if y'all can see from there. If not, Ambrose will try to pop up a picture. Um, but excited to grow this one right here. We're false. And here's the last one. Okay, last plant. Okay, so if you hang on with us through this whole time, <laughs> thank you so much. Um, this is Endless Flirtation, and that's it, guys, for yep. now. Um, any of these plants, guys, that it, we, you have grown in your garden, um, go ahead and let us know in the comments below how they have done for you, yeah. your zone and everything. I think it's always nice to um, share with everybody. Um, how certain plants have done, you know, in, in your area. It helps a lot. So Definitely. Everybody can go down there, see the comments, and see how it's done for, for other people. Um, for us as well. Um, anything you want to say? Uh, not much, really. Uh, just I hope this video was informative, and that way you guys can see what they look like when they come. And, you know, um, fortunately for us, we didn't have anything... Uh, anything damaged and I know that's not always yes. the case I know some people do get some stuff we've that, gotten things before um, we, that we have I mean we have some, gotten some stuff that was uh, uh, turned over turned it, over we yeah. had a uh, um, couple plants that were broken completely we didn't know if they were gonna grow uh, they did amazing though yeah. um, we went ahead and grew them and they did great um, so that you know but like you were explaining if something does come um, damaged um, you want to repeat to them again? Yeah, you, if, so, if you do get something damaged, make sure you take a picture of it, of how it came and what it looks like. Uh, if it's unhealthy or if it's dead, uh, whatever the case is, make sure you take a picture. Email Proven Winners within 24 hours. Um, and again, they'll go from there. Uh, their customer service is outstanding. Uh, yeah. Be mindful that they're, 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 they, they service a lot of places. Uh, they have a lot of yeah. garden centers that they service as well. Um, so... You know, uh, just they do an amazing job. I mean, they've done an amazing job. We've contacted them before and had nothing but great results from them. So, um, so I guess it's safe to say plants make people happy. Definitely make us happy because we have a lot of work cut out for us this this happy uh, work this spring, and we're we're very excited to do it because we have a lot of ideas that are uh, now with this being here. I mean, it's 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 all coming together. It's piecing together, and we're excited to get it going. Yes, very excited. So. I hope, like Amber said, this was a good video um, on unboxing of how the plants yep. came out. And yep, so that's that's basically gonna do it for the video, guys. Uh, don't know how long this is gonna be. We're gonna try to piece it the best that He's we can. He's gonna try a miracle, uh, <laughs> so it can't be I hope, long. Again, I hope it's gonna be very informative. I hope I'm gonna be able to put up uh, some of the pictures that you guys want to see and what we have here on the table. Um, and, and I hope it, it gives you a great uh, uh, decision-making ability to whether you want to order these plants or not yes. or whether you want to try one of these plants or not because uh, you know and go ahead and share this video with anybody that has this questions you know about plants and just want to go ahead and take a little bit of time and say thank you to all the new subscribers yep um, thank you so much and also you know for everybody that has stuck around with us oh yeah so this is it yep that's gonna do it for the video guys we'll see you guys next time happy gardening guys